Hi, today I want to actually try and show you the rotating magnetic fields in an AC motor, like this. This is an actual clip from the end of my video where I was able to successfully visualize the rotating fields. Is there anything? Because seeing is believing. I could throw theories and equations at you, but when you see it, you know. That's why I got this power supply thanks to circuit specialists who provided it. Make sure to check them out for a ton of parts and equipment. This baby can do from 0 to 400 volt DC or 300 volt RMS AC up to 3 amps. And it does a bunch of critical measurements too. And it's loud. It does between 45 to 1000 Hz and makes different waveforms too. And the output is somewhere on the back, right? Ow! And it's pretty sturdy too for when you throw your power supplies. You must always remember to turn off the high voltage supply output before fiddling with the output. And that's not the only thing I got. I also bought this piece of sheet that is a magnetic field visualization sheet. See if I place a magnet under this sheet, you can see the magnetic fields. The black areas are the north and south poles and the white line between them is where one pole transitions to the other. Now to create the rotating magnetic fields in a three-phase AC motor or a brushless DC motor, which is basically a three-phase AC motor, we need three phases, each phase 120 degrees apart. So circuit specialists, send me these three babies that I can stack and when they are connected properly, well, they sound like a starship, but they also provide three phases. Oh my god. So now we dismantle our motor to see the coil arrangements and we wrap the piece of sheet around the coils. And with the three phases connected, we turn on the power supply and oh, oh the overcurrent protection tripped. I guess the coil is like a short circuit. So I lower the voltage to avoid overcurrent and Really a short circuit, eh? I have an idea. I put 10 ohm resistor series with each line that will limit the current. So now I can run it from a higher voltage like 20 volts and that will send around 2 amps of sine wave into each line. Now, if we look at the sheet... Well, that's underwhelming. Oh, I know. Maybe the 45 hertz is still too fast to see with eyes. Maybe I can do a slow-mo with my phone. Here we go. Yeah, nothing is moving, is there? I put all these together and I still wasn't able to get any visuals. Why the hell? Oh, now it's on fire. The resistors get super hot. Now, how would you believe in rotating magnetic fields? See, we need three electromagnets for three phases and on the surface of each one, it looks like an alternating north and south. And we know this piece of sheet shows solid dark for both north and south and doesn't blink. So having this sheet on the surface of electromagnets looks like you have fixed magnets in space. Only further in air when the magnetic fields mix or when they combine inside the metal to create eddy currents is where you have rotating fields. Unfortunately, if I put this sheet further away, the fields become too weak to make an impression on this magnetic sheet. I would have to have much stronger magnetic fields that my power supplies can't handle, like 100 amps through these coils. I even tried to wrap my rotor stator in thick amounts of aluminum foil. But see, there, it still shows up solid. I think because the combined eddy current created in it may not be strong enough to make an appearance and be visible. I even tried to put a piece of steel on the stator. But steel just shorts out the magnetic fields. But I'm sure the rotating fields are there. Let's just snap the rotor back on the motor. I should be able to run this motor at 45 hertz. Ha, there you go. Although it's a synchronous motor and needs proper commutation and won't work right at a fixed frequency. See if I run it at a higher frequency, it gets stuck and such. But anyway, as the fields of the three phases rotate, it turns the rotor's permanent magnet. Ow! Stupid resistors. Which reminds me, do you remember this failure of an induction motor I made a while back but wasn't able to turn it? 
Now with the proper power supply, I should be able to turn it. Of course, an induction motor doesn't have permanent magnets. It is the changing fields from the coils that create eddy current inside the metal body of the rotor that creates its own magnetic field that is pushed around by the rotating field. This is an asynchronous motor that doesn't need commutation. Like this, I have a copper pipe here that if I move a magnet beside it, I can move it around. Okay, it's freely turning. Let's run it at 45 hertz. Oh, it wants to turn. Uh, 45 hertz might be too slow. Here goes 300 hertz. Oh, 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 look at that. My motor is turning, finally. And of course, at higher frequencies, we create greater eddy currents in the rotor. That's why it's turning easier. <laughs> nice. So the rotating fields are real. <laughs> And of course, to flip the rotation in these motors, all you need to do is to flip the connection of two phases only. There. <laughs> now Tesla would be really proud. Oh, well, I failed to show you the actual rotating magnetic fields. There might be a way, but for now I have an idea to show you the concept using LED lights. I connect three LEDs and resistors in a Y configuration like this, connect three phases and neutral at the center, and when the LED lights mix, you shall believe. Of course, the LEDs only turn on in the positive cycle of their phases, going full bright and back dim and turn off. So you can assume the bright cycle is north and the dark cycle is the south of the magnetic fields. Here are the LEDs, let's turn them on. Yes! But actually, no, I think it's blinking too fast. I have to do a slow-mo. Here we are. Wow, now you can clearly see the rotating pattern of light. A mixture of three sine waves of light. And that's similar to how magnetic fields mix and create a magnetic flow that can move and rotate things. And if we flip the connections between the two phases, now the magnetic fields flow in reverse. I hope you finally believe in the rotating fields beyond the theories and formulas. Not like this information was blocking your way to salvation or anything, but I personally learn better when I can imagine things in my head. And again, thanks to circuit specialists for providing these babies. High voltage supplies are always welcome. And thank you for watching.